Hey everybody, we're doing a special video today. I still have Binky here, it's her last day here. <laughs> it's her last day here uh, in Vegas and uh, we went out and did a little bit of thrifting, which the Savers didn't do any video of that. Um, but we're doing a special video because I um, actually did some sourcing on eBay and I ordered a mystery box, which yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that. And technically, definitely never sell a mystery box of anything because it'll probably get you in trouble as far as I am not as described because you're not actually telling people what they're gonna get. But I decided to take a chance. Um, I ordered a mystery box of 25 vintage t-shirts. They're supposed to be from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, supposedly the seller sells a bunch of different stuff and he says, or she says, that um, these are t-shirts that they at one point maybe had in their store and they had sold um, individually. Uh, and then they had like a whole bunch of them. They had multiple lots. And so I made an offer. They did a counter offer. I accepted. Um, so I paid $110 for 25 t-shirts. So, I mean, they might turn out to be terrible, they might turn out to be good, they might turn out to be mediocre. Um, I'm gonna go through them now and we're gonna see. I haven't opened the box yet, so I'm doing an unboxing. Uh, at the very least, it could just be a learning experience for me. Or they um, could be awesome. They could be awesome. Uh, I'm, you know, 25 for $110. At the very least, I'm hopefully should be able to at least get my money back if that's all I can do, but maybe I'll be able to make some money. And so this is kind of like an experiment in um, doing some sourcing outside of my area. So we've been talking lately about, you know, people who live places where they can't necessarily uh, go sourcing a lot around where they are. Maybe there's not a lot of thrift stores, not a lot of opportunities. Um, I've actually done some sourcing just by being in different streetwear thrifting groups on Facebook and I've um, bought, obviously they were mystery um, packs of stuff, but uh, I've bought like wholesale lots from people. So there are ways for you to source from home without actually going to um, a thrift store. So we're gonna see what we get. But I will say, First of all, I'm wearing this awesome t-shirt, The Fiendish Ghouls. This is one of my birthday presents from our friend Dana. Um, so I wanted to show that off. And my friend Eddie, who is also a boss member, and he is here um, in Vegas, he stopped by while we were out and left a little present on our doorstep. Look at that! Nice. And um, Eddie, Vicky says she hasn't met you yet, but she hates you already. <laughs> I think this is going to be the, the shirt that I wear when I go to the pool. We're going to be, uh, we're going to start swimming every morning to get healthy. And because it's really, really super hot here, it's like 95 degrees, 96 degrees right now. So I'm going to wear this bad boy when I go to the pool over my swimsuit. <laughs> Come on. And uh, every time, Vicky's going to have to walk with me. I can see Vicky in the other room's head going. <laughs> She's not impressed, Eddie, so thanks a lot. Anyway, you guys should see Eddie sometime soon um, on some of my videos because he is here in the area and he is uh, really, really good with um, streetwear, thrifted streetwear, uh, new current stuff as well, um, and vintage. Uh, he knows his stuff. He's taught me a lot. Um, so I plan to get him um, on at some point in, in one way or another. But anyway, let's get to unboxing this box. So first of all, yeah, I got this huge box. It was $110, free shipping. I will say they sent it FedEx Smart Post, which I get because it's kind of heavy. Um, I don't know, it would have been nice if they could have put it into a large uh, flat rate, so I, I would have paid a little extra to get it faster. And that's another thing. If you guys are shipping stuff um, and you're using something like FedEx Smart Post um, or Parcel Post or whatever, the cheaper ways of shipping stuff, and you're do using that for your free shipping because maybe you have heavier items, like that's totally cool, do that. But if you can, always have there be an option where someone can pay to get it shipped to them faster. Because a lot of times people just want something fast and they'll pay for it, so at least have that be an option. Um, Cause let me tell you this, I've been waiting for like a week for this to get here and especially now if it's disappointing, it's gonna be a little rough. Okay? We're gonna cry. We're gonna cry. <laughs> All right, so let's open this up and see what we got. And like I said, I haven't opened this yet, so you guys are gonna see it as we see it. Um, and hopefully I don't cut through anything here. Ooh, Oy. All right, let's do this. Oh, I got a little, just a little note or packing slip. Katie, thanks for your purchase. I threw in five extra shirts for you. Because uh, I told him that if he, I got like a good selection of shirts, I would definitely want to be buying more because I do sell on eBay and he had like multiple um, lots on there. So I was like, you know, if I can find a good source, a good way for me to get good stuff. Uh, looks like this is a guy who regularly thrifts in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and finds a lot of vintage t-shirts, so um, I think that's pretty cool. Five extra shirts, awesome. 
So again, it's not always a bad thing to let people know that you're gonna be reselling. Um, clearly, if he's selling lots of shirts, that he knows that there's gonna be some people who are probably gonna be reselling those. It always comes with new opportunity. All right, they're all packed up in a bag. I have a good feeling about this. You have a good feeling? Yes. Okay, at this point, we might be at the top of our emotions as far as it goes. <laughs> right now, we are full of hope. We are full of um, susp uh, suspension. Suspense. Suspense, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we are full of anticipation. That's the word I was looking for. We could have anything here. We could have a gold mine in here. Who knows? Maybe later we'll be sad and crying. But right now. What if they're all cat t shirts? Would that be a bad thing? That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be. If they were just all cat t shirts? Okay. First t-shirt guys. All right, this is a Juanita, I think is how it's pronounced, Juanita. That's another um, vintage t-shirt brand, vintage tag. Ooh. Nice, actually, I, love I really it. This one says Jesus. Let me tell you guys, I'm actually really stoked about this because the colors are good. Um, it's definitely a vintage t-shirt. This is, this is probably gonna be more 90s um, based on what it looks like. It's got the white color. Um, it does have the white white collar. It is single stitch. Jesus. Uh, I mean, that's I've sold some religious stuff, li religious vintage T-shirts, and they actually do all right. Like I could see myself selling this for. I mean, it's probably gonna be like 25, 30 bucks, which to me that's a pretty good deal. All right, next T-shirt. So far, so good. All right, let's see what we got here. Definitely another vintage. This one could be 80s. This one is. We made it happen. G Force. G4 Wings by Avco. We are G, I actually really think this one's cool too. Um, this one is, it's not single stitch, but that could still be 80s. This jersey's tag, I'm not entirely sure if this is um, an 80s or, or is it, come on, come on, focus, focus. Okay, we're having troubles with the focus here. Don't move. I'm trying guys, <laughs> I'm really trying. Okay, there we go, jerseys. Okay, so I don't know. I haven't seen this particular one. This might be 80s, could be 90s. Um, I have seen double stitch uh, in, in the um, 80s, so it's, it's hard to say. But yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, oh, yeah. Okay, next one. This one is probably 90s. Connecticut Soccer School. So that one's all right. Maybe 20 bucks. This one is single stitch. This is um, the, it's a vintage Fruit of Loom tag. So you can see it says best. I always, this is like another tag that when I see it, I know it's a vintage one. This is probably like 90s. All right, so nothing blowing me away yet, but all t-shirts that, you know, are all right. All right, this one. Ooh, I like this one. This is an army one. So sometimes military ones can be cool, but I really like the uh, design on this, Stuart. Georgia Army must be like a base there or something like that. We got some helicopters. We got some cool stuff going on. Nice. I actually think that's a pretty cool shirt. I could probably do 25, 30 on that. This one is. I don't know how you pronounce this brand. I've seen it before. I see it a lot in military stuff. Safi. Yeah, I'm trying, guys. Get it in there. Okay, made in the U.S. Safi. That one's all right. That one's pretty cool. I mean, I would definitely buy that if I was out and it was a few bucks. So, let's see. This one is 1991 Governor's Academy for Teachers of Writing. This is in Tennessee. This is definitely vintage, single stitch. The tag is Hefty, made in the US by TJ's. T, see that? There we go. This one's all right. Maybe I'll do 20, 25 bucks on that one. There we go. How are you feeling so far? Pretty good. This one's going to be good, I think. You feel like this one's going to be good? It's a baby blue. Let's see what this tag is. I've never seen this particular tag before, but this looks like it's probably 80s. Here's the thing. In the like 70s and 80s, um, there, wasn't really, uh, there weren't really a lot of like set brands for t-shirts. Like, you know, you see today, you see like a lot of like Gildan. Um, I don't know what's from the, some of the other brands, like just Hanes. Like there's like a few big names for t-shirts. Um, back then, I mean, there's just, if you ever go look at like an archive of like 80s t-shirt tags, 70s and 80s t-shirt tags, there's like tons and tons and tons and tons. So um, a lot of them you're gonna, maybe you'll have never seen before. Um, this one says, Wild Water Mariah Wilderness Expeditions. Aww. Look at that, woo woo. Single stitch, I'm guessing it's probably 80s. Let's see if I can get this to focus on this tag. 
Come on, come on. It's not, it's not coming in, guys. It's, it's driving me crazy. Come on, it will. I gotta be patient. I think it's Jessica's face is ruining everything. <laughs> All right, it's not, it's not like doing it. Anyway, it says health knit, whatever. I've never seen that tag before, but it's definitely vintage. Made in the US. Um, okay, next shirt. This is a Hanes heavyweight, made in the US. This one says, performance counts. Opryland, Nashville, 1991. This looks like it's some sort of like a speedboat thing, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. But that one has a date right on it, so you know, 1991. So early 90s, that's gonna tell us right now that uh, this is what the Haynes tag looked like in the early 90s. You can see that. Early 90s, probably late 80s is what that tag looks like, but it says 91 on it, so now we know. All right, this is like a jersey, kind of like a mesh-like jersey. Ooh, this is bike brand. It's uh, just like a bike brand jersey. If you know bike, but not like super high end or anything like that, but it is a, it's a good vintage tag right there. Cool. So far, nothing that would go over probably like 25, maybe $30, but um, let's see, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Yemen, Yemen, Arab, Republic. Yemen Arab Republic, Sinai, Sanaa, I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's a Hanes, it looks like an 80s tag. So this is what it looks like. So that's a very specific thing, which isn't always this isn't necessarily a bad thing. That actually could potentially be a good thing because somebody who's connected to it would potentially want to buy the shirt. But there you go. There's a tag for it. That's a, that should be like an 80s, like a mid 80s um, Hanes tag. All right, next one. How you feeling now? Hoping it'll get better. Hope, <laughs> hoping it will get better. So far, kind of mediocre, but not terrible. Like I'm not like um, you can make your money back, right? I can make my money back. I can make a little bit of money on it, uh, but I wouldn't say it's like necessarily a slam dunk. No, but it's fun. This one, 1997, Lady Volunteers back-to-back -back champions, women's final four. Oh, so this is like a women's. This is actually pretty cool. So this is a women's NCAA. Um, Champions t-shirt for lady volunteers. Is that is there like a team where their mascot is the volunteers? Like it's kind of weird. I don't know. That's kind of weird guys. What kind of mascot is a volunteer? I mean, I think volunteers are cool. And the tag on this. Oh, it's just like see it. It's some random brand. Now this is made in Mexico. A lot of times like um, vintage late 90s, uh, mid to late 90s t-shirts are made in Mexico. So Mexico is usually a good um, sign that's probably like around 20 years old. Um, so yeah, that's actually pretty cool. All right, next one. We got, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This is, this is a Screen Stars tag. You've heard me talk about that before. This is the KPL Safety Award. That was right. nice. I like the feeling of it. It's actually uh, one of those really soft, thin t-shirts. Um, this is a Screen Star tag, probably, uh, probably 80s, mid 80s. Come on. Screen Stars, so very soft. So it's all right. Oh, this is another one of those same Yemen Arab Republic. So that one better be selling well, guys, because I got two of, of twins. Them. We'll want to buy them. <laughs> Set of twins. They're really into the Yemen Arab Republic. I don't know. Is it Yemen? Am I saying Yemen? And it sounds ridiculous because it's actually Yemen. Yemen. Oh, there's a voice off of the distance that says it's Yemen. Yemen. Sorry, who said it's Yemen. Yemen? My bad ears that way. I'm like pretty much deaf in this ear, so that's why. All right, next shirt. This is this is a Screen Stars shirt, but this is a '90s um, tag. This says Captain Kitts Marina, Lake Sakakawea, Sakakawea, North Dakota, Sakakawea, Sakakawea. See, actually, I think that one's kind of cool. So this Screen Stars tag, you can see that it's a little bit different than the other one. This is definitely 90s, single stitch. Again, still just kind of okay. Still just kind of okay. So let's go to the next one. And this is gonna be like a 90s. Uh, yeah, 1998, Edgar Evans State Park, sixth annual log jam. So this is some sort of like logging, one of those loggers comp logger competitions. 1998. 
yeah this one's actually kind of cool so i was right on my dating it now this one um it says fabric made in usa assembled in mexico so i was saying about stuff that's made in mexico um and especially when you see ones where they say that the fabric was made in the u.s but then it was uh, made in mexico or put together in mexico those are usually like late 90s so let me show you that tag so that's what the tag looks like yeah so anytime you see that um Fabric made in the USA and then it was made somewhere else. Mexico, it's gonna be made in the late 90s. Some of the other countries, it's probably gonna be early 2000s. So you don't really do it that way anymore. Pretty much everything's made somewhere else. Ooh, this one's nice. This one, oh yeah, this is like one of those. This is definitely 90s. Uh, Branson, Showtown, USA. Ooh, this is like a country western, it's like cowboy boots. This is actually kind of a cool one. Definitely 90s based on the style where it's got like, it's this t-shirt, but it's got like this double collar. Um, and you see like it's got on the sleeves, you can actually roll those up and have like different color sleeves. And then like the fabric itself is kind of this multicolor fabric. And if you can see that, the tag is Miller, made in the US. But this is a definitely a 90s tag. But it's kind of cool. Anything like um, kind of cowboy stuff like this, cowboy or like rodeo um, does pretty well. So again, 25, 30 bucks, probably 25. Ooh, this is a really nice thin feeling one. The tag is totally uh, worn away, so you can't even see that. Mm -hmm. But oh, this is um, 1987. So this is Buena Park Centennial, 100 years of progress, 1887 to 1987. So this is actually a really cool shirt. I like finding these kinds of ones. Um, so yeah, so obviously it's the 80s. The tag itself, like I said, it's completely, I mean, there's nothing on it. It's just a black blank tag with single stitch. It's like that really nice, soft, um, thin t-shirt material, which a lot of people really love. Um, and I could totally see some hipster wearing this, so I'm into it. It's like there's some vintage t-shirts that are really good for like the streetwear scene. I mean, there's some stuff like this that somebody like hanging out in like Portland, Oregon or yeah. Ann Arbor or something like that would totally be wearing that. <clears throat> okay. Next, this one is a super faded Screen Stars tag, probably 80s. Um, Holloway High School, it says 1927 to 1968. This t-shirt is not from 1968, but so I'm not really sure what it's saying as far as those dates go. I mean, maybe it's a shirt from 1968, but I doubt it. Um, this is a Screen Stars tag, super, super faded. I can just barely see the shape of that tag but I think that's actually a really cool shirt. And something like this, you never know, there might be somebody out there who actually went to that school. They're a little nostalgic for it. It's got a good color. I like it. Next. How do you feel now? I don't know. You don't know? I'm just going with the flow. Okay, you feeling good about it? You got any other embarrassing stories you want to tell? Hmm. Think about it. Give me an idea if you got Give me an idea. All right, now we got another screen stars. It's probably 80s. Uh, this is Merrill Lynch. Um, which is what Merrill Lynch, aren't they like uh, helping you with like investments and stuff like that? Anyway, Screen Stars, I'll show you that tag. Yeah, Screen Stars tag. So this one's again 80 single stitch. It's okay. I mean, I guess if there's somebody out there who's like really into Merrill Lynch and they're like, I gotta get my Merrill Lynch on and I wanna go vintage style. I banking. I wanna go to old school banking and investing style vintage t shirt. Or maybe they're like in a Merrill Lynch gang and they want to show off to their buddies. Mm -hmm. But that's, uh, I don't know about this, that one being hardcore. Yeah, they're hardcore. <laughs> All right, this one is a jerseys uh, made in the US. This is definitely a 90s jerseys tag. This one says Martha's Vineyard. I don't know how um, in demand Martha's Vineyard t-shirts are, but this will show you like what a 90s jerseys tag looks like. So whenever I see this particular tag, um, it's another one that jumps out at me, like the Screen Stars, I know it's a, at least vintage 90s. Yeah, I don't know. All right, this is another um, Juanita shirt. Now the Juanita, I mean, I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. It could, I guess it could be Juanita, but um, uh, I know my buddy Eddie has told me that um, a lot of like Japanese buyers really like the this particular brand of shirt because they just like the quality of the shirt. Mm -hmm. This one is 90s. This one says um, Lawrence's Tavern. Oh yeah, so it says 1992. See guys, I'm getting, I'm pretty good at like being able to date it just based on the tag. Um, Lawrence's Tavern, Ports and Spirits, Stouts and Lagers. Um, this is in Lancaster, England. Uh, and it's from 1992. This is actually a pretty cool t-shirt. 
um, as you can see it. And this is the Juanita tag I'm telling you about. So that's another tag. I always like finding these. All right, we're definitely more than halfway through here. Man, the sun's coming in my eyeballs. All right, next one. You're feeling good about this one? Yes. Why are you feeling good about it? Because it has a palm tree, I see. You saw a palm tree? You're feeling the, that feeling the palm tree? This one doesn't even have like a brand on the tag, but you can definitely tell like it's a vintage tag. Uh, single stitch. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Yeah. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So it's probably, I was gonna say probably 80s, 1990, so really close. Right on the cusp. Right on the, right on the turn of it. This is, I think this is a cool shirt. Sorry about the sun, guys. It's like blazing into our eyeballs right now. But I actually really like this design. I think it's a cool shirt. I would definitely have picked this up if I was out thrifting. So, um, I like it. Again, nothing that's really gonna go much over 25. Um, but that's, you know, I'd still be making money with, if everything went for 25 bucks, right? So, what? How much would that be? Would 10 you? shirts would be, I ain't gonna do the math. Well, since I got 30 of them, 10 would be 250, so 750 bucks. Yeah. If I did 25 of all of them, but some of them are probably gonna be more like 20. Um, this one is a jerseys. This one, I'm not entirely sure if this is 80s. This might be like on the cusp of like 80s and 90s. Wait, does that say on the front? Oh, it might. Hold on. Yeah. I thought it said 1980 something. 1985. So yeah. now we know for sure. Okay, guys. Check out this jerseys tag. This is a way for you to like learn tags too, is that when they have a date actually on them. So that is a 1985, so at least in the mid 80s, jerseys was doing, it was jerseys by Russell, which Russell Athletic, if you know that brand. Um, so jerseys, and this one says ASCB 1985 anniversary meeting, Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know what ASCB is. Obviously that's something I'll have to look up when I'm actually listing this, but it's a mid um, 80s and apparently I mean, I'm hoping that somebody from the ASCB is like I remember that day and I want that t-shirt back <laughs> so Next 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 Oh another uh, Jerseys from the 80s. This one says tropical breeze resort the family resort Panama City Beach, Florida It's actually not a bad shirt. It's okay It's that same exact same tag so since we just learned that from the other one that said 1985 on it we know that this one is probably sometime in the mid 80s again we don't know when they started using that tag or where they stopped but we know that that could be the 80s all right next one we got another screen stars this one is independent chic what's that film flam the 6th april 28th 1984 Interesting. Commerce Union Bank. So it's some sort of, I don't know if it was some sort of like a, a film festival type thing that was um, sponsored by Commerce Union Bank, but that's from 1984, so that's kind of cool. This tag, it is a Screen Stars tag. Again, this is what that one looks like. So remember, that's what mid 80s Screen Stars. So by Heather Gray. I actually like that. I like the film stuff as a movie nerd. All right, Lee Sport. Now this is probably 90s. Yeah. Yep. This should be 90s. It's Lee Sport. Oh yeah, assembled in Mexico of U.S. materials. There you go, guys. Again, another lesson there. Lee Sport. Um, you can see right here where it says U.S. and then Mexico and the date on it, 1998. This is McGuire Home Run Record, September 8th, 1998. Didn't it turn out that he was like doing the steroids? I don't remember. That? I don't know, so I don't know what this t-shirt's worth. I pay attention to that. But it's definitely vintage. That's kind of cool. And it's like, uh, it's all embroidered too, so it's a pretty heavy duty shirt. Lee Sport does like a lot of, um, especially if it's like made in the USA, definitely vintage. They do a lot of like sports stuff. Obviously. Yeah. Lee Sport. Feeling good about this All right, one. we're almost done. You're feeling good about this one? Feeling good about this it. This is a Hanes. Beef tea, made in the U.S., probably the 80s. Hold on. What does it say? Anna, Anna Dean in Search of Dreams, Dream Seekers, 1984. That's cool. I don't know what this is. This might be some sort of theater shirt because it's got like a little jester dude. It's kind of interesting. Let me show you what that tag looks like. So that's mid-80s Hanes t-shirt. There you go. All right, we're getting down to the last couple one, guys. 
All right, we got a best for the loom tag, so it's probably gonna be 90s. Mm -hmm. And what do you know, 1993 U.S. National Senior Sports Classic Four, awesome. the Senior Olympics, June 12th through 18th, 1993, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We actually know somebody who was in the Senior Olympics who's been doing it for like 20 years or something crazy like that. Um, our dad's cousins, is it her grandpa? I don't know, her uncle. It's basically one of the Zilverberg family. He's in South Dakota. He's now like, what, 100, like John Zilverberg? How old is he now? 100 over 100 something. We met him like 10 years ago when we were on the road trip back from grad school in New York. And we drove together and then we stopped in South Dakota. We got to meet John Zilverberg. And he seriously, now he's, he was in his 90s then. Now he's over 100 and he travels every year to be in the Senior Olympics. Um, he's actually been, like every year now they do like a news segment on him because it's like, he's still so super active. He's like a retired farmer. And he actually was uh, featured in like a whole Carhartt campaign recently on their Instagram, Yeah. Um, like a few months ago. And it was pretty cool because they, they were showing like lots of pictures of him like out farming wearing his Carhartts. Looking cool. Um, but anyway, he does the Senior Olympics. And uh, I actually think that's a pretty cool shirt. I do too. From 1993. All right. I think this might be the last one, guys. This one feels a little heavy, so it's probably gonna be more 90s, because 80s stuff tends to be a little bit like thinner and lighter. I like that better. Um, this is Hanes Heavyweight. Uh, it says, fabric made in USA, assembled in Mexico. We're talking 90s here, guys, late 90s. Uh, this says yellow. It's some sort of like, maybe it's like a trucking company or something, some sort of big truck. Uh, but yeah, let me show you that tag. So it's a Hanes tag. So this one's gonna be like late 90s. Yeah, I don't know. No. So I'm gonna say I'm not um, blown away by this lot. Uh, again, I'll probably most for the most part be able to sell them around 20, 25 bucks a piece. Um, so that's I mean that's okay. I paid 110. Um, I should be able to make you know minimum 500 dollars uh, on these. Um, but you know for one thing, I don't know that any of the shirts that we looked at were actually from the 70s. Um, and the lot did say it was supposed to be or the listing said it was supposed to be 70s, 80s, and 90s. That's not that big of a deal. Um, but I would say most of these shirts are just kind of like middle of the road, like I'll be able to make money on them, but I'm not like going, oh my gosh, I gotta go order a billion more from this guy. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll think about it. I'm gonna definitely like, you know, list these here in the next week or so. Um, and who knows, maybe they'll sell really quickly and then I'll wanna buy some more from him. Um, but hopefully uh, you all learned a little bit more about tags and how to identify uh, vintage t-shirts and kind of get an idea of like which ones um, are for, from which decade. Um, and hopefully you had fun finding some cool stuff. It's too bad it wasn't anything like really exciting. See, I told you we were gonna get to the end and we were gonna be. We we're depressed. At the, <laughs> at the beginning, we were so hopeful. No, it was all right. It was all right. I definitely uh, did not lose any money. Um, it's not as bad as I thought. No, it's not. They, they were. What if you would have got like all these ripped up, like yeah, right. armpit stained <laughs> t-shirts? That's true. And and of course, you know, a lot of you guys, if you live in an area where um, you have a hard time finding stuff, um, I mean, this would be like a really good deal to be able to like make a little money on some t-shirts. I like to sell stuff at a little bit of a higher price point, um, but t-shirts are really really easy to photograph. They're super easy to measure. They're super easy to list when you do them all at the same time because you can just do sell similar, sell similar. Like once you have an idea of how much you're going to sell them for. Um, so they're actually like really fast, which is why I'm always willing to sell them for a little bit cheaper. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching another uh, show with us. I'm sorry that we had to go for so long just to look at a bunch of mediocre shirts. But again, there were some cool ones. Hoping you learned something. And stay tuned because we have some more stuff coming in the rest of this week. And I'll see you guys later. And she'll see you guys later. Now boss up. Boss up. You can need to say that with a little more conviction. Boss up. <laughs>